talk about the deal being in the church. Let's talk about how I was sleeping with pastors and bishops. Hey, 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 hey. Yes, Lord. Hey. Do y'all hear what I'm saying? They talking about this a blouse. This is a man's shirt. <laughs> this does not look like no blouse, do it? No. <laughs> Bitch, you are not famous, you are not known. I'm not famous, you are not known. Come and I know damn I'm talking about what I'm going to reside, brother. Please, please, stop bringing these niggas to my house. Stop bringing these niggas to my house. Hold me, please. Hold me, please. Hold me, please. Hold me, please. We also thank God for time in the building. You say you what? Leaking, child. You over here leaking. Uh -huh. I don't know no grown man supposed to say that, but. Well, I'm leaking today. <laughs> so the biggest headline that's sweeping over the internet, and I think when I first saw it, we was all in the group chat, and I'm like, you hear what happened about DC? I'm like, what, what about DC? DC. So DC Young Fly uh, is somebody who's, I mean, comedian, artist, cool dude he's somebody whose career we've literally seen like bud in front of our face he is like so from, nice from social media to you know drew you've done wild and out a few times um i've, I've we sat and talked for hours yeah and i mean he's a he's a real like down to earth dude oh so well he uh you know ended up starting a relationship with one of the wild and out girls um by uh -huh. the name of jackie o and you know here's the story uh, they didn't waste no time making the family. Um, you know, three kids, bam, 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 right out the gate. Okay. I mean, she's very beautiful, and and, to, and believe it or not, yes, they made babies, but he's actually he wears his ring. He's actually a great father. Okay. I don't see him when I'm in know. there. I, I don't he... see, and we in there for hour. I don't see him flirting. Okay. I don't see him looking at other women. He be FaceTiming his wife. Okay. Because um, me and Nick and him always have the same dressing room. Oh wow. Okay. Well, that's what's up. Well, yeah. um, we got to send our prayers and love to DC Young Fly because his partner, Jackie O, at the age of 32, passed away um, due to some complications while she was getting a mommy makeover. Um, you know, this was something that was kind of lingering and then they released it. You know, she she actually had did a collab post with the doctor, Dr. Zap, before going under and just saying, you know, that... She was excited and things of that nature. Now, some are saying it was because of heart failure or preconsistent conditions. And, you know, this is just a tragic situation because now you have DC Young Fly who will be a single father. And he has to explain to his three young kids on why mom ain't coming home. You know, they knew what mom, whether they knew or not what mom was leaving to do, mom was going to be gone for a while and now she's not coming home. And he's a very, you know, high spirited person. And I know this probably takes the life out of him and he's very high speed he go to church every sunday yeah um so well you know you, you see a lot of people post it as well as like the shade room and drew you were on the shade room recently for underground surgery as well i was they did uh they called it what the daddy do-overs and you would you, you were on there just as, as well as band man kevo who was in the studio as well talking about was you he? know yeah, he was in here talking about yeah you you got the money go pay for it go do it but i don't think enough is said about mm. the risk and the complications. And Drew, when you did your sit when you went and did your surgery, did they make you like sign something like saying, you know, if something happens, it's not on us. Just like when I went skydiving, I had to sign ten forms basically saying, Hey, if you die, you choosing to do this. Well, before I went and before I went into my surgery, I have already done a three million dollar um life insurance, life insurance. policy okay. to my family. Right. Um and I've already planted my funeral, what I want stuff done, I plan it where I want all that because that's something that you have to do. Right. Um, yes, I had my attorneys involved. Um I had brought in attorneys, I brought in this because um getting liposuction and getting the other stuff done and getting all this done is something that's that's not easy yeah um i had stuff removed i had stuff tucked i had stuff all of this so um yes they do make you sign something was i nervous and scared yes but i prayed before i don't know if she prayed before she went on the well, table I mean, they, they were saying that she had and and, and 
you know, they said it was like heart failure. And I don't well, know if she had. I don't think they put that out there because um, the doctors, um, if they say, well, she died because she had heart surgery. Well, that doctor should have known not to operate on her if she had heart surgery. So I don't think that's true. Well, um, we have we just have to wait until the autopsies come back yeah. because the doctors can't release no information right now. No, for sure. For sure. Well, it's definitely. um because that's a high risk, especially, I don't care where you go, in St. Louis, Florida, Miami, Washington, D.C., wherever you go. And if you have undergone health issues and you sign something and you die, number one, now, they're t- they, I was told they cannot work on you if you have major health issues. Right, that's what I would think. Like, if you, you know, if you, uh, but yeah. it's like if you know the risk, if you if you sign something, say, hey, because they may write it out to say, hey, listen, you have these conditions, there are risks going along with Borns, this. Just, just that like, told me no. Yeah, just like any other surgery, right? They yeah. may suggest, hey, I, we don't suggest you do this if you have these conditions. But if you tell them to hit the button anyway, you know, and I don't know. That's what I'm saying. We don't know. Lawrence told me to lose some more weight and then they'll work on me. Oh, okay. So I said, so okay, did let you me lose go somewhere else. No. <laughs> so you just said, all right, y'all ain't going to do it. I'm going to find somebody who will. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you came out. And I'm out getting on, ready on. to do some more work on my body. So that you are, do you, do you be nervous going into that? No. Like, do you? No. I have the money. I'm going to go get whatever I want done. I still want some stuff done. And this is an outpatient. I don't have to be in her overnight. I don't have to take off work. So, um, actually, next Friday, I'll be getting some stuff done. And I just see people online saying, like, well, let's not make this a convo. Like, why you, um, you know, shouldn't go get stuff done or whatever. But in my mind, I'm kind of like, why not, though? You know, like, why can't that be a point of the convo as well? It's like. She had dude, three, cri- three kids, Shorty. I understand and, it. And, and she wanted some makeovers. She wanted some mommy makeover I get, like I, I had. I get it. I get well, it. Daddy makeovers. I get it. I get Hey, listen, I'm a I'm pro. Do what you want with you. You know what I'm saying? But I just think everybody make it seem so. Yeah, you got the money. Go get it done. Boom. It's over. But here we have a situation where nobody talks about the risk. And nobody talks about, like, you know, the potentials of maybe not coming out. I don't know. What? what Let's, is let's, there a risk? Because I'm about to grade to go get some. Of course, there's a risk. What do you mean is today. there? A, what do you mean is there a risk? Look what just happened. We are gonna open it up and just you know, if you wanna kind of throw in your two cents, four cents on the situation where you're headed about it. Ultimately, a sad situation, and we wanna send our prayers going out to the family of Jackie O and to DC Young Fly and them kids. Man, I'm sitting here looking at a picture of her with her three kids. And this is just, um, this is very disheartening, man. Now, this one, Drew, somebody sent me something they saw on Twitter, and they they, they DM'd it to me. They say, please get Drew's take on this scenario. Now, it's kind of lengthy, okay? So I need you to pay attention. I'm going to try to, like, skip over whatever parts don't matter, but it's just, it's a lot to this story. Okay, so this guy, 42 years old, has a niece who is 17. She recently confided in me that she is a lesbian. I supported her and let her know that I'd be there, uh, the usual family stuff. However, she told me she was going to come out to the whole wide world this week. I let her know that she should absolutely wait for her grandparents, my parents, to pass. My father is incredibly wealthy and has tens of millions of dollars in assets, and he will be passing them down once he's gone. The thing is, my father is a raging homophobe who has flat out stated that any gay individual in our family will be written out of the will. And to make sure the rest of us don't split the money with them, they will do- he will donate that portion to charity. Since both my mother and father are incredibly in poor health, I told my niece she should stay in the closet for a little while longer. If she comes out as a lesbian, they find out and she will quite literally lose out on seven million dollars. She was a little sad, but also appreciative since that is absolutely a life changing amount of money. My wife, however, says that I am being an a-hole. I'm telling this poor girl to hide who she is to appease bigots. That's true. I'm asking her to appease old bigots, but I felt like for her life, I felt like her life quality would be much better with seven million dollars at the cost of one to two years tops of staying in the closet. I have seen my father's will, and she is definitely going to receive the seven million dollars as long as my father doesn't rewrite it or edit it. Am I being an a-hole by telling her by giving that advice? Well, um, um, so um, I think that was a good um, ask, Andrew. Okay. Um, let me just say this: I have brands. Um, I'm actually rebranding myself. I have brands. I have endorsements. Um, so I'm not finna sit here up and tell someone. Um, that what she's doing is wrong. What they're doing is I don't care. Mm-hmm. Um, my thing is God delivered me. 
Right. Um, and God set me free. And God can set anyone free. And my thing is this, um, sir, um, that sounds like you guys have some issues in your family that you guys need to go see a, 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 a counseling. Mm. Um, l- money don't buy happiness. Okay. Money don't buy peace. And money show don't buy love. Well, $7 million could take you to a place of peace. And um, my thing for her is um, you're, you're trying to come out in the family. It's a lot of coming out right now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there is a lot of coming out right now and yeah. there's a lot of things my best advice is um for you um you're you're living yourself you live in you as what if you want to be but my thing is this i don't support that you don't support hit what he's telling her correct okay um i don't support that and um and she want to sit down and talk to the family and say, hey, I, I'm, I, I'm a lesbian. Um, I can't say that she's living her truth because God created Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve. Mm. And there's a lot of children. What about, I, what about Eve and Erica? Well, I never heard of that. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. I never heard of that. I'm and you saying. know what's right. Well. So that's <laughs> this is a, a very touchly, uh, a very touchly as Andrew. Yeah. And um, I don't, there's, we have lesbians. We have people sure. that listen to our show that we um, respect them. Yeah. Cause I'm a lesbian. Um, well, whatever you are. <laughs> um, so I'm going to decline on that. I might say it too much already, but I'm going to decline on say that. too much. I feel like, I feel like that was very, you know, you, you definitely, I don't feel like you said anything offensive. Well, I, you know, I, 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 I'm more so, you know, I, I actually commend your answer and, okay. and you know, but understand, I have million dollar di- um, deals behind me, right. and I have to watch what I say because people can be driving and screen record this and send this to different companies. That's and what he before you her. know, they'll drop me. He telling her don't don't. He ain't telling her don't live on your truth. He just saying just hold out on exposing it just a couple more years, and then you're gonna be seven million dollars rich. Well, shorty, that's a lot. It's too many. That's it's, a lot. People, that's a lot. Uh, people already coming out the closet, girl. Come on, so we can get you delivered. I'm just saying, just stay in there a little bit longer. You should get seven million dollars. I don't. I, then yeah. people will feel that she's not living her truth. Then, yeah. I need to put some bass in my voice, but child, I'm yeah, in pain. You do. <laughs> God working on one thing at a time, child. Okay, because you all the way up out of there. You ain't even you. Child, Ben came out the closet. Oh, okay. I used to carry purses, um, everything else, and you have not seen me put no purse up in here. You were, I so, wore a book bag. I right. carry a book bag. Not and, wear, but and, I carry. And a girdle. So do you, I wear a girdle because I, I like wear girdles, and they have men girdles. If you go on Amazon and type in men girdles, maybe you should maybe you should put on one, too, because, no, Shorty, you one. might be tight, but you're not all that tight. You know, it keeps right. your body firm. Well, I, I actually work out in, so I am uh, tight. Uh, you know three, what? Three one four. Try six, me three, up in here today. <laughs> <laughs> three one four six five nine one zero four one. Drew, that was that was that was actually good, man. Good advice. Yeah. You know, <laughs> somebody tried truth. to set me up, honey. Three one four six five nine one zero four one. I'm just saying, seven million dollars just you know. I don't no. care how much it is. Okay. I gave away a three million dollar thing well, for you just doing something with BET you just for sleeping you with be, a man. You just say you got to be what? You did what? Oh, yeah. I give up. I gave up some contract. I gave up some money because oh, I was not gonna do it. Okay. <laughs> so Damson Idris, all right, is an actor who been doing this thing, and right now he dating Lori Harvey. He is most popularly known for his role as Franklin Saint in the series Snowfall that just concluded. I'm a fan of Snowfall. I'm a fan of Damson. He doing his thing, but. He was sitting at a round table with a few other actors and he was talking about what everybody was talking about, the certain things they have to do to tap in and embody a certain role. Mm -hmm. What he said that he had to do really disturbed me. And I want you to take a listen to it. I I was I remember sometime we do 10 episodes for my show and in this last season, um, I was hitting a block, right? I, I was like, oh, I'm not doing it right, right? So then I went in the corner and then I was looking at the wall and I was like, come on, devil, come on, devil, right? Get, mm-hmm. Come to me, like, come to me. Cause I had to do something like crazy, right? Had nightmares for a month. Mm-hmm. So it does come to it or after? After. after, like I had nightmares every day. Like I just felt, I felt that energy, Oh, interesting. you know? And I had to pray and do all this stuff to like get rid of it. And 
you know, you call your mom up and you're like, bring me back to life. And <laughs> that stuff is real. Yeah, that stuff is real. Damson's saying he pretty much had to summon the devil to get into the mold that he needed to get for this role. I'm going to send that to somebody. I'm going to ask some of my celebrity friends. I'm going to be like, what do you think he, he did? I mean, he just said what he did. He said that, like, I think he tripping, right? I feel like he was summoning the devil so he can square up with him. I don't think that he was praising the devil. He said, come on, devil, come to me so he could do some dark stuff in the role. I don't like, I I get what you're trying to say, but like, ain't no, is there's no situation where I'm telling the devil to come to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, he said so he can focus on the role? Yeah, like he, he I guess he said he had to go to a dark place and he was hitting a roadblock. Oh, so he was like, yeah. come on, devil, come mm -hmm. to me. Yeah, I ain't with that. Yeah, no, I ain't with it neither. And you would think that you would say, God, give me the strength. God, give me the tools I need. God, put me in the right mindset. Even if I got to do something dark, I just right. don't know if I'm in a position where I feel like I have to say, devil, come to me. I don't think that's for me. Well, all money ain't good money. I've been like, no, I can't do this scene. I'm yeah, sorry. Well, you already know Hollywood can be a dark place. I mean, he definitely did his thing, you know, in all seasons, especially this last season, man. But right. I don't know, Damson. That was a little bit disturbing. That um, was scary, too, what he just what he said. Speaking of disturbing, man, um, one of the top headlines that's been, you know, going all over the Internet and everything. Everywhere is the unfortunate passing of the wife and mother of the kids to DC Young Fly. DC Young Fly is a young comedian, actor, uh, artist. He was actually just here in St. Louis um, for the last date of the Straight Jokes No mm -hmm. No Chaser tour. We just saw him at the Schaefer's Arena. Um, his wife Jackie O, who they met on the set of Wild and Out, and she was a wild and out girl and of course he's a he's a regular cast member um you know they met each other they fell in love here's the story they start to have babies they have three kids she wants to undergo surgery and do a mommy makeover and in result of that she loses her life due to complications during surgery we don't exactly know you know there are things floating around about maybe she had a heart condition or heart failure. whatever it is it hasn't come out yet but the fact of the matter is at, thir soon. at 32 years old this young lady lost her life while trying to you know i guess better herself physically or or do things you know that she wanted to do for herself right, right. Um, a sad situation, man. First things first, the most important thing is prayers and love to DC and her family. And because that is something that I can't imagine what he's going through mentally right now. Like, I can't imagine. This is not only your love. This is the mother of your kids. This is, And they was having kids back to back. So you can tell they was just trying to get out the way so they could live a long, happy life, man. And DC, somebody who always brings laughter and joy to people. So, he's... well, there was a lot of people. You know, we have a group text, um, the Wild and Out family. Yeah, and he looked at the message, but he just didn't respond. So I'm I know sure. He sees it. Oh, for sure. I'm yeah. sure that he. You know, I'm sure everybody just sent. It's 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 a lot right now. And then what do you tell them kids? You know, and one of the things I wanted to know was like, and and Drew, even with you going through it, you know, you just you just went under. Uh, you just went through surgery. Uh, when you laying down on the table before you decide to make that decision do they make you sign something saying like that you know the risk of what it is like for example when i went skydiving i had to sign like seven pieces of paper basically saying like hey you choosing to do this and if you die it ain't on us well i took what well, like like i said again i prayed and i knew i was in the best care because i have the, be the best nurses and best doctors at Sanabello and creve core and um i i took that risk and i prayed and and actually the whole time why i was getting my whole stomach cut open i was up mm. i was wide oh, awake put to sleep no because in that type of building they cannot put people to sleep oh wow so i had my whole stomach all fat all that taken out i was up mm. did they ever tell you that like the surgery you got done i don't know if she got the same thing that i don't know what she was getting done but did they tell you that there were certain risks as to what you was getting done yeah mm. but i i still took it because it, it was a done deal. I had already took off at that time. Right. I was not going to come back and say, oh, I didn't want to do it. I'm scared. Yeah. So I took the risk. I done it. And then also I made sure before I went in there, Shorty, I made sure that I had my insurance policies ready. I made sure in I talked to my attorneys. Happened. 
Correct. For sure. And I mean, this is unfortunate. I mean, the most important thing is for, you know, that family and them kids dealing with that. But it's like it makes you think about the other side of it. I mean, you've talked about it even when Bandman kept over here. He was talking about, hey, if you got the money, just go get it done, whatever. Right. But it ain't enough conversation about, like, the risk of it, right? They had this doctor on TMZ. And I don't know if she was exactly getting the BBL, but he was talking about how the BBL is actually one of the most risky surgeries. Explain the danger here. It's extraordinarily dangerous. It turns out it's the most dangerous, not only plastic surgery procedure, it's the most dangerous operation there is with the highest fatality rate. And I'll tell you why. You take fat from one part of your body, typically the abdomen, you process it and you inject in the buttock. Sounds easy, right? The problem is there are these very small little veins in the buttock that lead directly to the vena cava, which is the major blood vessel that brings blood back from your body to your heart, to your lungs. If you get fat in those little vessels and it gets in the main vena cava. He was saying that could end, wow. up, being, it could, it could end up being fatal. So, I mean, it's a lot of talk about, yeah. Well, I'm you should have told Nene Leakes that, you know, she just had a BBL. And I mean, there are more... We definitely see more success stories than stories that take the wrong turn, right? You see, but I'm the, over here switching shirts and Yeah, but that leaking. makes you think about, even one of the callers caught up, it was like, dang, that made me think about, like, Kanye mama, because Kanye mama lost her life during plastic well, surgery. Well, Shorty, uh, somebody did say that, and to be honest, you guys, stop comparing people to people. Um, she and, wasn't comparing it, she would just say it made her think about, like, you yeah, know, people but who Shorty, lost Yeah, but when you're in Hollywood, and you are, and when I'm you are in... Hollywood. Oh, okay. Well, when 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 we are in Hollywood and when you are known, you have to change your appearance. Okay, Drew. What I'm not gonna do is let you sit here and say, in order to be on TV, you have to go into well, surgery. Well, well, we do it. Everybody saying, that I know that's in Hollywood have done some yeah, type of saying, surgery. You, there, there are natural ways to make yourself look better. Like that's not like the what? only that work out. Well, we don't want to do that. Okay. Well, give me a donut and <laughs> give me back on the table. Okay, well, we see the risk of that. You know well, what I'm saying? Well, we don't know if she did that. You get what I'm saying? I'm not saying it was a BBA. I'm just saying she went in for some type of cosmetic plastic surgery. Okay? Shorty, you don't understand. It, it's a lot to when we take pictures. It's a lot when we go to different how things. Do you, how are you going to tell me that I don't understand why I actually put the work in? Okay, well, like, that's you. Like, Everybody that's, don't want to work I out, get Shorty. That. I get that. I'm not going to work out. Okay, that's cool. That's your choice. But you can't tell me that, like, what I'm the route I choose to take or anybody See, else. See, you that's look not healthy, the, but now I look healthy, but I'm in pain right now. You are. But you, you get what, Shorty, I'll you, show you've been saying, you, Shorty, I'll show you've been saying you've been leaking. Yeah, I am. Well, I, I am, and I'm an open book. I'm leaking right now, and that's normal. <laughs> so get with um, you. But it's only one spot, and with that, we, you know, they said that's normal. But, Shorty, let me be honest with you. I didn't do no, no mommy, no daddy's makeovers until I start working here. Because I was always behind the scene. And I would throw in the girdle real fast. But I also felt depression. But you have been on TV I before felt, that. Yeah, but I felt, to be honest, those when I was I was happy at that time. Mm -hmm. But looking at myself, on t I, at, when I went there, I felt sad. No, I feel you. I because I'm like, oh, I'm big. I'm, I'm better, this, right? I'm yeah. dead. You do. I always believe in you. Do what you have to do for you. Or do Don't you, you do. like my new attitude now? Uh, yes, Drew. I've been really nice to I people. I love. I love that you feel better about yourself. But what I don't like is you telling people, "Hey, in order for you to do this, you got to go get this." Well, going. I'm not telling every. Well, I'm not saying everybody because you know everybody is not going to be in Hollywood. I'm just saying everybody that's in Hollywood, they tell you, "Oh, you might need some Botox. Oh, you might need this. Oh, you might need that." Well. I'm here to tell you that, you know, there are other ways, safer ways to do it. And you got to love yourself even before you go do that. Because if you if you are, everything that we walking around in is a shell. Well, I'm about to go okay? get my hands done, child. I'm doing that actually today. Yeah, well, we walking around, We this is a shell. So if you allow your happiness just to be based solely on your shell or your physical appearance, you ain't never going to be satisfied. You got to love yourself. It's it's inside out. It's not outside in. You got to love yourself from the inside I out. I love myself, but I want work done, Shorty. Okay, like I told my doctor, I got tired of these wrinkles being on my hand. So what they finna do, they finna put 20 um, needles in my hand today. So where, on so both. where, where is the stopping point? For? Like where, where At what point do you say, you know what? Uh, well, I still clear. have to get my nose done. Okay. Still got to get my veneers. So there's no stopping point. No. And then right. also my belly button got to be moved back up again because... 
it's down. I mean, it's right where it's at, but I want it up a little bit more. All right, Drew. So yeah. I already talked to them about that. At least I'm being honest. Well, I appreciate it. Well, good luck, Belly Button. We right back, y'all. <laughs> it's going to be a hot weekend, too, man. We getting up to 93 today, and it's going to be like 96 I'm going to be in the house. This is going to be a good pool weekend, man. Tony, I'm already leaking. No. <laughs> the amount of times that you said you were leaking today is just disturbing to me. I, I, I mean, just... Shorty, like, oh, like it came out of nowhere. Okay. Yeah. My body is not. It's just one part it's in the just middle like, is. It's just it's, 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 as early as it is in the day, I've heard I'm leaking maybe seven times. And neither... I'm leaking, I'm leaking, I'm leaking, I'm leaking. And neither time <laughs> has it been from a woman, and I just never saw my life going like this. Women don't leak. She. <laughs> she. <laughs> Shorty. Hey, <laughs> man. Had a lot of fun uh, this week, man. You make.